we're back. And we talked with the crook. And he has a shrine to this Helena Romansky. We're gonna go check that out. Apparently this guy is very obsessed with her. And this is what we saw him. He lowered. a scrapbook that he put together. And look at this name here. This would uh, be the guy that Kate's mom is dating. Apparently, Sergi Rundin, Beryl Dean. He's been writing to Helena, but all these letters have been returned. What we can do here is we could try calling Mom. Let's bother her for once. Hi, Mom. Kate! What? Well, have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, Mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um, well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply, too. I simply gotta get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, I think you really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin. Come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling down for you if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem to remember you're seeing a um, Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time, my dear. Imagine that. That's just great. So then he must have known a famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Oh, you do. Oh, Kate, listen, you're still there. Frank tells me he did hang out with the Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. You know? Oh, oh. Frank says she was very ill and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh, what is? Oh, oh, okay. Um, she went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arrowbad, but it was 15 years ago, and he's not sure. And well, honey, when Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going. You know. Thanks a bundle, Mom. And Frank too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. Thanks again. Catch you later. All right. That was definitely the right call to make. Let's go talk to that crook a little more. A little creepy, his obsession with Helena. Maybe a little bit more than just a little. <laughs> totally creepy. I say we just choke him. 
get our hands back. Hello? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep at all. This whole business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Oh, you know, I guess we were both a little high-strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? Yeah, I left the door to my office open and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Ah. Uh, I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. You're usually so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true. I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And a still no Hans Warlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan. Well, for once, you sounded all right. Sounded concerned. Okay, Perk, you're up. Director. Ah, it is you, Miss Walker. Director, I think I know where Helena Romanski is. My God, you have found Helena? That is fantastic. From my research, Helena Romanski is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romanski is in Arlbad. You know the town, then? You know where it is? Of course. It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romanski would be happier here. I think she'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our little town. How can I get to Arrowbad? There is one way that you can. Here, in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? You mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still some pathetic old soldier guarding it. But he's more interested these days in reaching for another bottle than reaching for the stars. And you think this gentleman could have a vehicle for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound, then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I will activate the automatic pilot. Okay, I'm going. Wish me luck. I am counting on you, Miss Walker. I really do think we should have just beat the guy. And that was the monorail. This must be the space compound. Hello? Kate! Oh, that you? How are you? Olivia! Great, just the right person. Look, have you heard of Helena Romansky? Uh, no. Is she some Russian fashion designer? <laughs> no, she's a singer. I'm going to be meeting her soon. I've just got to find a way of reaching Arlbad. Can you imagine how lucky I am? 
Not really. Well, what relations this singer got with the toy cocaine? You sure you know what you're up to, Kate? Uh, you sound really different, like you're changing or something. Look, it's like this. If I'm going to get to the end of my journey, I've got to link up this singer and the director of the Comcalsgrad Industrial City. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Why did you say that I've changed? I don't know, just an impression. You sound more sure of yourself, like stronger, more confident. And that's a problem? There you go. Just takes one word and you're up on your high horse. I'm beginning to see Dan's point of view. It's getting harder and harder to back you up all the time. What does that mean? Well, it means that I had a drink or two with Dan because he wants to talk. He feels a bit lonely, you see? And what's he been telling you? Nothing. He just has the impression you're slipping away from him. He can't see where you're coming from anymore. Like, we went to the movies the other day and he said that you would have loved the film, but I told him that... You mean you're dating my fiancé? No! No, not dating Kate, just propping him up while you're away. All in a good cause. I can keep an eye on him for you at the same time. What would I do without you? Oh, you're jealous. Huh. Well, that's a good sign. That means you want him. Now, that he'll be pleased to hear. You seeing each other again soon? Tomorrow night. He invited me to dinner at the Goldberg. You don't mind, do you, Kate? No, no, no worries. Look, I've got to go, Olivia. Take care. Okay, Olivia sounds pretty snaky. We're going to explore this area in the next video.